shade and delicious fruit. Two of the many compelling reasons why this tree, Munyi, is so highly valued and protected by rural people across the southeastern part of Zimbabwe. How's it guys? I'm Gus the African Plant Hunter. Before I go into my lyrical waxing on this tree, I'd just like to pause for a moment and say a huge thank you to those of you who support me through Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash African Plant Hunter is a platform that allows people to support me to do this work, which is primarily self-financed and is, I hope, for the greater benefit and education of everyone with any interest in indigenous plants and trees of Southern Africa. Right, that's my thank you over. If you are not supporting me, but you would like to, you can just click on that link and uh, make a pledge, which I would really, really appreciate. So, Muni, Bukimia discolor, known as bird plum or sometimes called brown ivory. In Shona, it's Muni. In Ndelele, it's Muni. And it is indeed one of the most prized fruits of the felt at this time. I'm right standing right now in the middle of summer. So summer is a paradoxical time in Southern Africa. It's the rainy season, everything is green and beautiful and abundant, but crops are growing, nobody has yet harvested. So people can get a little bit hungry. This is the period of the hidden hunger. And one of the things that saves people living in these areas is the fact that so many of the indigenous trees at this time produce fruit, which is nature's way of saying, come on guys, let's just help you get over the line till you harvest your crops. Right now in this area, there are many different fruit trees that are fruiting abundantly, particularly the marula, marula trees that leave the carpet of fruits all over, and this tree, Munyi, the bird plum. So right now the ground around me is covered in these little tiny uh, sort of olive shaped fruits that are absolutely delicious. Green on the tree, then they turn yellow, then they fall. When they fall they're ripe and delicious but amazingly they will then turn a kind of reddy orangey color and dry out and you can keep them for months, even up to a year. And they are highly prized by people not only as fresh fruit and dried fruit but also as the source of an alcoholic beverage so in Zimbabwe there are many different fruits that are used to produce the traditional alcoholic beverage which is called kishasu which is distilled from a fermented juice of the fruit and this is one of them one of the most popular not the only use of this tree uh, apart from its, of course, glorious shade, it's also browsed by uh, many different animals, so you often see a very clear, distinctive browse line. Uh, this tree is often found standing all on its own in the middle of a field, because when people are clearing land for cultivation, they will leave this tree because it is so valuable. Uh, the timber is actually quite solid, hence the name brown ivory, really beautiful sort of golden brown color. Not often used because this is not a tree that's found abundantly. Generally, you find one here, one there, one over there. Although in this area, I must say where I am in Bikita, there are quite a lot of them. Trees very easily recognized uh, from the leaf pattern, distinctive. It's in the Ramnaceae family, which is uh, the buffalo thorn family. So it's related to Zizifus mucunata, the, the buffalo thorn. Uh, and you can see the similarities in the leaf patterning. So Bukimia discolor implies a different color on the front and the back or the top and the bottom of the leaf. Top is quite dark green underneath, much lighter. And then you see these very distinctive yellow veins that stick out uh, along the underside of the leaf, quite clear. The bark of this tree, which bleeds a kind of oozes a red gum when it's cut, uh, is also used as a dye, so particularly in Ilala palm basketry. So there are many areas of Zimbabwe, particularly around Binga in the northwest and then uh, around Malapati in the southeast of the country, where Ilala palm baskets are made to a very, very high standard by local women. And often they dye the, the palm a, a rich red color using the bark of this uh, the bird plum. So there are many, many, many reasons why this tree is so highly valued and protected. Uh, and to me, this is one of the kind of great icons of Zimbabwe. 
Bohemia discolor Munyi. It's a fruit whose flavor every single Zimbabwean knows. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Plenty more on my YouTube channel and Facebook and Instagram. Type in African Plant Hunter, hit the subscribe button, and you will be notified whenever my new videos come out. As for me, I'm off to munch some of these delicious fruit. I will catch you later. Take it easy. Bye.